guys, welcome back to Glitter Buzz. Okay, so today's video is going to be on DIY bath bombs. Oh yes, the other day, uh, well actually it was the other week, I took my daughter to the shop Rush and oh my god, it's like one of the most amazing shops ever. And I bought, uh, I bought a couple of things but I've literally not got much left <laughs> because we've used it. So I bought a, a cosmetic, it's called a bubble bar. Um, and oh my god, it smells so good. So I just wanted to show you. It's so glittery and sparkly and lovely. You said I should get three goes out of this one. Put it under the warm water and you'll get a nice bubble bar. Even though the stuff is really good in there and I love it, it's so expensive. And like, when you're on a tight budget, you can't always afford things like that. So I thought, why don't I have a go at making a bath bomb? You can make your own bath bombs. Like, here are a couple that I've got left because we've pretty much used them all up. Uh, here's a picture of the ones that I made. I thought, why not share the recipe with you and the method of how to make your own DIY bath bombs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm gonna show you basically how to make your own bath bombs. So watch the video now. Here are the basic ingredients that you need to make the bath bombs. I have some peppermint tea, lavender and rosebuds and food colouring. First you're going to sieve one and a half cups of bicarbonate into your mixing bowl. Then you're going to add half a cup of citric acid. Then give it a good mix. Transfer half a cup into another mixing bowl. Then if you've got any dry ingredients, add that into the bowl now. So this is my peppermint tea that I'm putting into it. In a separate bowl, add half a teaspoon of sweet almond oil. Okay, now you want to add a bit of food colour into it as well. Um, you can always add more, remember, so if it's not enough, just add some more later on. Now just give it a stir. Now you're going to add that to your half a cup of bicarbonate and citric acid. Mix this well. Now find yourself a pair of groovy gloves and start using your hands, getting in there, mixing it all together. Put some almond oil now onto your cotton wool and rub that into the mould to stop it from sticking. Now using your hands you want to fill the moulds to the top and make sure you sort of pat them down as well so it all sticks together. Now I'm going to fast forward making some more because uh, otherwise the video will be ridiculously long. I'm just going to show you quickly me making up a few more bath bombs. And here we go, here's the four that I made. You need to leave them in their moulds for 24 hours at least. And here they are. Now I'm going to show you that they actually do work. This is so exciting. Yay! Look, they're really busy.
So that was my bath bombs. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, definitely give it a go yourself. It's really like quite cheap to make. Um, but you can put anything in them. Do you know what I mean? That's the exciting thing about it is you can really just like invent your own bath bombs and then have them for like special baths and things. And once you've got all the bits in, it will work out a lot cheaper than you know getting them from Lush or places like that. Not saying that you should ever get any from Lush because Lush is lovely. Don't get me wrong, Lush is Lush. Also, it's a great idea to do with the kids as well. You know, for the half term, summer holidays. It's a fun activity that you can do with them. The moulds I got from Amazon um, and the rosebuds I got from Amazon as well. Um, so they're really easy to find. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe, please. And I love you all. Thank you. Bye. No, that is really stupid. <laughs> so it's something good. My phone always goes off when I'm filming. You're just trying to get on camera, aren't you? That's what it is. Yeah.